Okay, guys, we're in the right hip. This is an NFL football player. Um, to the right here, femoral head. To the left, acetabular socket. Um, and this is the labrum. So what we're looking at here is an anterosuperior labral tear. What I want to show you here is this chondral delamination. So this is normal cartilage down in here, but as you can see, as it forms this chondral labral junction here, you can see the cartilage starting to separate from the rim. And this is just adjacent to where the labrum is torn. And there, if I pick the labrum up and go underneath, you can sort of see exposed bone down in there with the cartilage peeling away from the acetabulum. Um, and this is a function of femoral acetabular impingement, um, where the articulation between the head of the femur and the acetabular cup is abnormal, and it starts to wear away here at this chondral labral junction, um, leading to a labral tear and uh, tearing of the cartilage. Okay, so this is the uh, right hip. Uh, we're performing right hip arthroscopy here. This is the joint femoral head, acetabulum, and labrum. Already identified our, our labral tear up here with some chondral delamination. But our first step here is called an acetabular plasty. So there's a bone spur um, right here and here along the acetabulum. And this is called a pincer lesion in the setting of uh, femoral acetabular impingement. So I'm just gonna show you here how we, how we take this away. So I've got my 4-0 burr here. We're gonna turn it on. Uh, I'm gently, gently going to come along the red here using suction as we go. And this allows us to shave down the abnormal bone and suck it away as we're burring it down. So we're going to restore normal hip architecture, we like to say here, along the acetabulum, which is going to uh, restore normal mechanics and movements and allow us to... Uh, fix the labrum into a normal anatomic position. So there you can just about see that that first bony lesion there is gone. So now I'm going to work my way laterally here. Here's the second one. See the amount of bone we're taking away here. So I'm just making my last uh, finishing touches here along the acetabulum. So we've worked our way all the way from the frontier, recontoured the rim nicely, uh, just working between the labrum and the rim here gently. Sort of go millimeter by millimeter here until you can feel yourself fall off the side here of the acetabulum, which we have. And that's kind of a decent look at our finishing touch touches here and final product. Um, so that's an acetabular plasty. Now we're going to work on fixing the labrum uh, for acetabular labral repair. So this is just a look at our final product here after we've repaired the labrum. We used three anchors here starting immediately. One, two, three. Labrum's repaired. We've uh, formed a little bit of chondroplasty here along the rim, just taking down that edge of cartilage. Uh, and it looks good. Really good label repair there. So you're going to see the hip coming back into the joint here. So there it is. Femoral head's back in. You can see the labrum hugging up against the head here for that suction seal. Um, and that looks great.